Well, yesterday, do you remember, we also met Lisa Madison, who told us that watching last year's breast examination saved our life. So, Dr Hillary is here now to give us another reminder of that, because I still think, I mean... I'm not sure, we all try to do it, but I'm yeah. not sure that all of us know exactly what you're supposed to do. Absolutely, and as Lisa said, she was doing the regular checks, but yes. she wasn't doing it properly until she saw, until she saw uh, that. You know, yeah. our model demonstrate. Mm -hmm. now, the important thing is to be breast aware, right. to look at your breasts and feel your breasts to see if there's anything that's changed. That's the vital thing. Bear in mind that periods will change things, right. so you get fluid retention before the periods. If you're having periods, Wait a week after the period till the fluid retention's gone okay. and do it consistently at the same time every right. month, first thing. Second thing is women have different consistency breasts uh, compared to somebody else. So some women have soft balloons, some women have lumpy bean soft bags. Soft balloons! Right? <laughs> lumpy bean bags. <laughs> okay. What's normal for you though, know what's normal for you sure. so that you can detect any change. Finally, at the menopause, your breasts are going to be softer, less firm, less lumpy. Okay. So things change. Uh, it's, it's all about getting to know yours. It's about getting really? to know your... You'll know your breasts better than anybody else. Yes. Well, maybe so, your partner knows them better than anyone possibly, else. Possibly, and mm -hmm. sometimes uh, <laughs> the partner will find something Indeed, that women should absolutely. be aware of. So Sue was our brilliant model last year. She's going yes. to disrobe for us, and uh, I'll hold your robe, and she's going to demonstrate a proper um, breast examination right. with the time that we have available. So she's going to start with this hand on this hip to relax the muscles on this okay. side of the chest. Okay. Using her right hand, she's going to use the soft pads of her three middle fingers uh, and she's going to imagine that she's divided her breast tissue into four quadrants right. so a line across the nipple a line through the nipple coming vertically and each of those quarters needs to be examined in turn in a grid search with those three fingers so she's going up and down right up to the collarbone and across and she's coming down now into wow. the outer third but she's going to do this methodically first superficially then a bit deeper pressing a bit more firmly right and we haven't got time to do the whole thing because you'd take three minutes on each side. You have to do it properly. But then she'd absolutely. examine the, the, the nipple particularly for any lumps under the areola, the coloured part around the nipple. Right. Look for any discharge or rash. And then finally she'd come right up into the tail of the breast, up here where 50% of uh, breast cancers occur in this upper outer mm. quadrant. And then finally right up in the armpit where the lymph glands might be enlarged. And if she does that on each side for three minutes right. on a regular basis, she's very likely to find the breast lump that she needs to detect. Do you know what? I Thank think that a lot so. of people will be surprised. Again, I know we did this last year, but again, a lot of people surprised as to how high up you have to go. Absolutely. And you have to go right in here as, as well because I think so most people just much. kind of think thank it's you. thank you very much that it's just this bit it's not but you have it, to it's do not everything. just around the nipple no. it, it's each quarter in right. turn do it methodically so you don't miss any areas mm. and go right up into the tail of the breast and the armpit right okay mm -hmm. so it's all it's all about looking out for those signs and as you said getting to know your own particular body absolutely so that's how she would feel her breast right. now if she's just looking in the mirror to begin with again it would be hands on hips right. you'd be looking for these four things you'd be looking okay. for puckering yep. and dimpling of the skin that means that something's pulling the skin underneath sure. then you'd be looking for any uh, change in the shape or the contour mm -hmm. of the breasts so one breast might be asymmetrical compared to the other and then of course you'd look at the nipple for any discharge the discharge might be milky it might be clear and watery it might be straw colored or it might even be blood stained but okay. any discharge right. needs to be uh, reported to the doctor and sure. finally you're looking for any rash on the skin particularly around the nipple because sometimes a breast cancer can occur uh, as a skin rash around the okay. nipple. Hilary, thank you. Pleasure. Very, very much. Thank you. It's, um, it's brilliant to remind ourselves of exactly what we've got to do. And if you'd like to bin your bra for breast cancer, just head to our website, itv.com slash Lorraine. You'll be able to find your nearest bra bin at an FNF section of Tesco. If you don't have a store nearby, you can pop it in the post. All the details and addresses and all of that on the website for you.